Okay, so this next example we're gonna look at here is gonna show the use of a lambda expression in the context of a remove if method. And uh, this is kind of a fun example. We'll see some other variants of this later. So in this example, we are going to create a list of integers and we're gonna make this backed by a, an array list. And the array list is going to contain a list of the values one, two, three, four, five. Now you might ask the question, why do we wrap the list of one, two, three, four, five inside of an array list? You know, what's the meaning? What's the purpose of that? And the reason is because if we just use list of, then it will be a non-modifiable list and we can't remove things from it, which is what we're about to try to do here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna print the contents of the items in the stream. And then we're gonna use a Lambda expression with the funky remove if method. Now remove if is a method that was added later in Java and it's not in Java seven, it came in Java eight because it relies on Lambda expressions. And what we're doing here is we're saying basically for each item, for each integer I in the list, then remove anything that matches this predicate that we're passing in here. And what we're passing in here is basically, you know, I mod by two equals zero or equal equals zero. And so that basically says, you know, in not so many words, remove even numbers from the list. And then we go ahead and print the count of items in the stream. So you should not, it should no longer have two and four. It'll have one, three, five. So that's a really cool method. We'll see some other examples of where remove if can be used in other contexts. We can use remove if from sets and so on but it's a, a neat thing to know about. And it allows you to be able to do things very concisely using this declarative syntax and then have side effects on whatever data structure you're accessing. Another cool thing, which we'll also talk about later, is that by using these kind of Lambda expressions, if you have so-called concurrent collections, like a concurrent hash map, you can atomically remove items without having to have a loop, without having to have locks. It all happens magically inside the implementation of the methods you're calling, like remove if or replace all or things like that. So we'll talk about that when we get a little further along. 